Okay, this problem is going to involve a product rule combined with a chain rule. So sometimes you might see a few of these rules combined together. So I have a product here because I have two different things multiplied together. When I get to the part of the problem where I have to take the derivative of the second part, that's the one that's going to involve a chain rule. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to rewrite this as x times 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power. That way when I get to the point where I'm doing the derivative of this one, it'll be a power rule that I can use easy than I have easier since I'll have a 1 half power written there. Okay, so let's start by doing setting up the product rule. Okay, so that's going to be the first term times the derivative of the second. So here's the first term. Okay, now, at this point, I want to do the derivative of this part here. We've talked about before, you want to identify your inside and your outside function. First, I'm going to handle the outside function. When I do the derivative of this part right here, the 1 half is going to come down front, just like the regular power rule does. I'm still going to keep this the same because that's my original u. You have to do f prime of u. Subtract 1 from that power and you get negative 1 half. So that took cook terror of the outside part. That was the f, uh, f prime of u we did. We did the derivative of the outside function. Now, we have to multiply it, because of the chain rule, multiply it by the derivative of the inside part. So now I want to multiply it by the derivative of my u, which we said the u is the inside part. That's the derivative here. Derivative of 4 is 0. Derivative of x squared is 2x. So now I have a 2x there. So this whole part right here, okay, I'm going to go ahead and label this for you so you can see for parts of the product rule. Okay, I have f, and this whole thing is considered my g primed. So I got the first thing times the derivative of the second. This whole thing, we did chain rule. That's the derivative of the second part. Plus the second thing, so I'll, I'll leave it as 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power times the derivative of the first. So this is the second thing. Derivative of the first, derivative of x is 1. That would be my f prime. So you see these are all the components of your product rule by doing that. So I've, I'm done using the different rules. Now it's just a matter of cleaning this up. Okay, so first I notice that the, the twos are going to cancel there. And I have a x squared. That'll be on top. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this with a positive exponent. In fact, I'll put it back into the square root form on the bottom. So 4 plus x squared will be down there. So that's how I can clean up the first part of it. Then I have plus, I can write this back as a square root again as well, 4 plus x squared, and that's times 1. I'll just write it, I can write it over 1 if I want to as well uh, as a fraction. And you can leave your answer in that form, or if you're, depending on what kind of uh, online homework system you're using or your teacher, they may want you to combine this together into a single fraction. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do common denominators here, 4 plus x squared. Okay, just to get common denominators, again, this first answer could be okay. You can try that answer. If they don't like that answer, then you may need to get common denominators. Okay, and if I do that, then what will happen is I'm going to get x squared over 4 plus x squared. Let's write this over a single fraction at the same time. Let's do that. So we have 4 plus x squared. I'm going to get x squared plus, and then this part when you multiply it, the radicals are going to cancel and you get 4 plus x squared. And then the last thing you do is you're just going to add like terms together. So here's my final answer. My y prime can be written this way. Uh, like terms, 2x squared plus 4, all that over the square root of 4 plus x squared. And that would be as far as you could take it as your answer. That would be written as a single fraction.